So as promised, I'm going to show you guys how to rip a Blu-ray to your computer and make a digital copy. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult and it actually involves two programs instead of one. So if you want to just try Handbrake, you'll quickly see that when you look for a source, the Blu-ray is in the drive, but yet it can't find any files to rip. So we're going to need something else to use along with Handbrake in order to make this work. So I'm going to include the link in the description, but I'll show you where it's at. So this is the link here. Um, I have a download link in the description. Just go to this website here. And you would just click the download link right there. Now, once you download that to your computer, um, you'll have this here icon that I have. Uh, it's called Make MKV. It's actually the beta version. You're just going to want to open that up. And it's going to instantly scan for devices. And it found a, a movie in the Blu ray drive. So you're going to go ahead and click that. Once you click that, it's going to read the disk and see what kind of files are on it. Um, <clears throat> this is actually just a trial period. So um, I'm not sure what's going to happen after 30 days or if I can just download it and uh, try it again. But this will do what we need to do. No watermarks or anything like that. I just click yes here. <clears throat> it's going to go through its process and scan your Blu-ray. See what it comes up with. All right, so we got two files that it feels is worth um, taking and using. Um, so I'm betting one is the actual movie and the other one is the commentary or whatnot. So we'll just take both of them. Um, you could get rid of the, the bottom one if you had wanted to. Um, but I'm just going to keep both for now. I'm going to click make MKV. Um, you also want to pick the output folder here. Now you don't want it just going just any old where pick where you want it to go. I would probably just put it on the desktop in this, uh, folder that I have made up for it. Now we click that there and it'll start its thing. So after quite some time of converting, we have these two files here. Um, I checked it out. One is actually the movie and the other one is actually um, like a documentary on it. So now we have these two files in our folder and we can go turn around and compress them because as it is now, these files are far too big. So this one here, the actual movie is 34 gigabytes or 33 gigabytes. Um, the documentary uh, part of the movie is actually five gigabytes, which is very long. Um, that's because it's an MKV file and it's not an MP4. So what we're going to want to do is use Handbrake to convert it back into an MP4 file. Um, that'll shrink the size of the file significantly without compromising any of the, the definition in the picture. So we're going to go ahead and open up Handbrake. And we're going to go click Source. Uh, we want to search for a specific file. We don't want um, to go off the disk because before that didn't work. So let's go here and click File. Um, desktop. And then Blu-ray. So here I'm going to take the movie and click Open. And it's going to scan the file. It says here it's 2 hours, 36 minutes, and 21 seconds. So we're going to select high profile for the better quality. And there's these other things you can mess with, but I normally don't. I'm also going to pick a destination. I'm going to put it back on the desktop um, where that other movie is located. So in the end, we'll be able to compare the size of each file. So this is going to be an MP4. The other one was a MK, .mkv. Um, so we'll see the 
the size of file afterwards. And now everything is set up. We're just going to go ahead, go ahead and click start high profile start. And this is going to take quite some time. Let's see if we can get a little uh, guesstimate on it. And, and then we'll just fast forward the video for you guys. Yeah, so it may take about an hour to actually encode this because it's taking a 35 gigabyte file and shrinking it down to a much smaller file uh, in a different format so it'll take some time but it'll be well worth it in the end and you know because every if every movie you put on every movie that you rip is 35 gigabytes you're gonna run out of space really quick so let's take a little break and we'll be back when this is over yeah, about an hour, a little bit more. So after about an hour and a half, um, it'll say Q finished, and your video should be ready in the folder you directed it to go to uh, under the name you chose. So let's check out this and make sure everything worked properly. So please remember that what we were doing with uh, the handbrake was to just compress the file to a smaller size that's a little bit more manageable. Uh, but yet yeah, still has a uh, good quality. So I believe uh, we did a pretty good job here. As you can see, um, this is the one we just made. And that's the one there. Down to 6 gigabytes, 6.5 gigabytes about. As you can see, the length is the same as this one here. But this is 33 gigabytes. So um, this is an MKV file. And this is MP4. So once you compress it down, it's to a better form. And, uh, you know, the, the size of the file decreases massively. But yet the quality is still there. And it actually makes it a lot more versatile. It can be used on multiple different types of devices. MP4 is a, a very versatile uh, type of uh, video file. So we're just going to test this out. We're going to open it up, um, see if it works. As you can hear, it's the start of a typical movie. So it seems to be in working order, just like it should. And that is how you would rip a Blu-ray to your computer. Um, now remember, this is a two-step process, so it's not as quite as easy as the other one. But um, you use the Make MKV uh, program, and that can get you a .mkv file. Now remember that .mkv file is quite large, so that uh, needs to be compressed to a smaller size. It's also not as versatile as the .mp4 file. So you use Handbrake after that um, to get that to work. Um, it compresses the file to a .mp4 and that can be used on more devices. Um, you know, the Handbrake process to compress that, I think it's about two hours, you know, but it's definitely worth it shrinks the size of the video, you know, down to what, uh, 6.5 from 33 um, gigabytes. So that's quite a significant change. Yeah. So anyway, um, hope you liked the video and I hope this helped you, you know, learn how to make yourself a digital copy from the movie that you have. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to my videos. That'd be greatly appreciated.